this is UM. I'm going to take you back to a time. Um, 1994. Being a wrestling fan was a great time then. You had uh, a lot of really weird characters and uh, I don't know. I always liked Dota yes, back in the 93, 94, 95 era. Had a lot of memorable things. Uh, I was really looking forward to uh, going to the store and seeing my new the new wrestlers in uh, Hasbro form. We got a unpleasant surprise that Hasbro was no longer making figures for Dodo Yef. And there was actually there was a two and a half year span between them and the Jacks line. Um, didn't really provide anybody with uh, any new way to get any characters you really liked. But there was. Thank God, one company. Just Toys. That for almost seven years provided us with representation of some of those characters. They weren't always the greatest looking, but for Hasbro wrestling fans such as me and my brother, to have actual representation that were somewhat in scale was a big thing. They came on cards that looked like this. They all look like this, every card. Um, this Cactus Jack, if you couldn't tell. They all came with a card that was very easy to punch out. You just punched it through the front, and you just pulled the figure out. You didn't have to worry about trying to rip the card apart to get to the character. And here were some of the other representations. Over the span of seven years, we got quite a bit. Um, I can't even think offhand how many it is, but it's somewhere within the 60, the 60, 65, 70 figure range. And also I was Series 1. In Series 1 we got Bret Hart. Now you have to excuse me if they fall over, they don't stand very well. Razor Ramon. And we got a Diesel, which was really great for us because we didn't have a Diesel until my brother found that bootleg one that I told you about in a prior, prior video and was able to make one. So to have an actual representation of Diesel was very cool. And they were a bit clunky at first. And they all had their autographs on their backs. And as you can see, 1994. We got these right when the Hasbro line was done. So, it was pretty cool. I'll just go ahead and lay them back here like that so you can see. Um, over the time, like in the second series, we get a 1-2-3 kid. Which is good for anybody that wasn't able to pick up the green card in one. We get a gold dust in series three. Which, was, which would be his first representation of a figure. And uh, this is 1995. It was like right when he came out, they gave him a figure. He doesn't have much of a, in the terms of a head, and they gave him his wig. I mean, he couldn't take it off or anything, but it was still great to have a representation of him. Now, at first we get, um, one of the tougher ones at first to get was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Here he is in his first representation of a figure. This is when he was the blue blood. Um... He was offered in a in a eight pack, and that was not cool. Later on, they re-released him on a single card, and I think he became a lot easier to find after that. Um, we get other representations. Uh, we get um, Stone Cold Steve Austin for the first time, right when he came out with his star boots. We also got The Rock, which was really cool for the first time. We get a representation of the rock that could wrestle with the somewhat in scale with the Hasbro they were all a little taller but my brother and I didn't care as long as we were able to finally get some uh, it was cool to finally be able to get representations of them to have to wrestle with and you get the Undertaker this is him and his ministry outfit they actually made uh, like two different Undertakers they made Purple Glove Undertaker in series two and then we get this one he came in a series, he came with the Legion of Doom, which was pretty cool. Um, then we started getting some kind of obscure characters. Uh, you got D'Lo Brown, which I thought was really cool. We always enjoyed seeing it when they would release the uh, weird ones, like Hardcore Holly. Pretty good representation of him. Got like Steve Blackman, who I'm not going to show you, and uh, 
X-Pac when he first came out in his uh, DX, just jeans and a, and a shirt, uh, his uh, leather jacket. You get the uh, New Age Outlaws, which I thought was really cool. They even did a repaint of these in DX colors. I got these when these first came out, so it was back when he was a uh, badass Billy Gunn before they started just calling him Mr. Ass. And they even provided us with Vince McMahon. So you got a Vince McMahon that can now interact with the wrestlers and get fight with Stone Cold and get a Stone Cold stutter, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, they also made Shane McMahon in the same series with, uh, they, they called him Paul White because they hadn't come up with a name for him, but that's the Big Show. So you got Big Show and you get Shane McMahon. Um, and they went on for 14, 15 series. Um... Towards the end of the last two series, I, I can't even confirm if a 15 series even exists, to be honest. Um, it's supposed to be Taz, Rikishi, Too Cool, and Another Rock. Now, if any of you have seen those and you happen to have a photo, please send it to me. I, if you have one, let me know and I can give you my email address so you can send me the photo. I would greatly appreciate finally getting to see a non-packaged photo, like somebody holding one, because I've only seen the promo photo for them. Um, the 14 series is kind of an oddity. It's, um, I've heard people say that they've been able to find them everywhere, and then I've heard people say they've never seen them. Um, around 2000, we got representations of Chris Jericho and the Hardy Boys. Okay, and they came, here are the Hardys, okay, fairly hard figures to find out of this series, I mean, the Hardys and Chris Jericho, um, this Chris Jericho, these ones came with um, trash cans and chairs and whatnot, as I said, um, but like, they also came carded. This this is Jeff Hardy as he came with a ring accessory. This is Jeff Hardy as he came on card. As you see, they gave him that shirt that he wore when he was part of the brood. Um, so, like, I'm still trying to find Matt Hardy. And I'm still trying to find the Chris Jericho who has different pants than this. Um, they're pretty tough to find. And here's Edge. It's when he first came out. Um... Yeah, so that pretty much does it. Uh, this is kind of like a little overview of Jackson and feel like doing series by series with these guys. So, um, yeah, so here's uh, Matt and Jeff in their ring gear look. Here's uh, Chris Jericho. Just for those who haven't seen these, because I know these ones are kind of hard to find. And then here's Jeff Hardy with the red shirt. All right, well, you guys take it easy. Bye.